So the Nedbank Cup semi-finals did live up to all expectations in terms of pure excitement and action. The two matches together saw seven goals scored in regulation time. A rare feast for fans. When the dust had settled, Keza Chiefs had been beaten on penalties by Vitz, even after clawing their way back into the game twice. And in the other semi-final, Orlando Pirates beat home team Maddisburg United 2-1 to book their place against Wits in the final. The winner will walk away with a cool 7 million rands and the silver medalist 2.5 million rands. Mark Haskins, soccer analyst, is here to dis dissect the matches with me. Good evening and welcome to Sports Live, Mark. Kendall, thank you for having me, sir. Mark, let's get right to it. Uh, we, we, uh, we, let's start in order of the, ga of the games of how these teams played yesterday. Um, Chiefs and Wits, uh, it was always going to be an interesting match. It was also going to be a spectacle um, because both are good teams. And uh, they've got good players to put on a, who put on a good show. What, do you, what was your take on the match? Yeah, like you said, it was always going to be an interesting game because both of them were kind of playing for the consolation prize as I think um, they slipped up in terms of their title chances with the league. So it was a lot for both teams to play for because um, it was kind of their last chance at glory for this season. Um, but it was a really good game and it lived up to expectations. I think it was value for money for the fans. Um, it was end-to-end -end stuff. Um, I, at the end of the day, you, it was hard to separate the two teams, but um, Vits were value for money for the win. Um, they wanted it, both teams wanted it really, but at the end of the day, there could only be one winner. And unfortunately, you know, the lottery of penalties, it could have gone either way, but um, Vits, Vits uh, held their nerve and came through in the end. Now, before yesterday, uh, these two teams had met prior to, to yesterday and actually played, uh, played to a draw. Um, they, they, they kind of had to change their systems. Um, do, you, do you think we should have expected this after their last, um, their last encounter? I think on the coaching side of things, it's always going to be, you know, uh, tactically you, wanna, you don't want to be predictable. You want to come with something different and offer something different. So definitely, I think it was to be expected. I think coaches like uh, Stuart Baxter came with three strikers, play, started the game with three strikers. So it was always going to be interesting to see what they're going to do. Um, it didn't quite work out in the end because he did end up making changes. But I think he had to try something different. They had been struggling in front of goal. And so um, it, the fact that they scored two goals shows that it did pay dividends. But um, still, they you know, didn't have the, the killer instinct to, to just finish off the game. But I mean, uh, talking about that, that, the way they, they started, it seemed as if uh, Keza Chief started a little, a little on the nervous side because um, the, the first couple of chances went the, the, the way of Vets. Uh, in fact, the very first goal was on the, I think, 20, 20 second minute was, uh, was Villacas's was, yeah. uh, goal. The penalty. The penalty, yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it's difficult being a Keza Chiefs player, to be honest. You know, um, it's so much is expected of you. You have to be on point all the time. You have to be on form. You're not allowed to, to have a dip in form, if I can say that. The fans expect the players to constantly live up to their billing. And so, um, I, like you said, they did start a bit cage. I think the goal that Vitz scored kind of just settled them down a bit because now they had nothing to lose. They had to just come, come to the party. And I think that helped them in a way. And so they started, um, they came good afterwards. And then on the Vitz side, I mean, this is a team that you, that, uh, that you know pretty well. Yeah. Um, do you, what, what is it that you think they brought to this game that made the difference? I mean, if you look in the end, they've got a really good team camaraderie and they've got really good leaders. And I think that plays a big role. Even if you look, I mean, I think through extra time, Chiefs probably had the better chances. Chiefs wanted to win it in regulation time, whereas it seemed like Vitz were playing to go to penalties. I think Munib Joseph always backed himself to go to penalties and come up with the goods. And so um, those, those are the key moments in the game where you see big players standing up and, you know, uh, counting, you know, showing that they, they're there to be counted. Now, I mean, talking about the penalties, both Woody, Ma, Munib Joseph and uh, Mr. Kune are known for being very good penalty stoppers. Um, uh, and, but having said that, you've taken a few penalties in your time, and it seems as if Vitz had the edge on, on Keza Chiefs. What does it take to take a good penalty? Well, I think there's so many different ways of taking a penalty. A lot of guys wait for the keeper to move, and then, you know, they have, that's a skill in itself. A lot of guys just pick their spot and go for it. It's, there's no set science. There's no um, right or wrong way. It's whatever you're comfortable with. How do you handle the pressure? Um, everyone handles it differently, I guess. A lot, you get a lot of confident players and players who just go up, put the ball down and smash it in. But um, like I said, there's no right and wrong way of taking a penalty. At the end of the day, even if you look at Locho Lognani's penalty, it was a really good penalty, but it was an outstanding save from Manip. I think 
the difference on the day was Munib Joseph's, and I think he always backed himself, and he came up with the goods. All right, now let's move on to the other match of the of the day, which happened a little later, which was Orlando Pirates up against uh, Maritzburg United in uh, at the Heriguala Stadium in the KZN. Now, what do you think about that? I mean, Pirates have had a fairly indifferent season. They've made it. They've made it to four finals. Yeah. They haven't won a single one so far. They've been civil medalists. In fact, some of the players are already uh, saying how tired they are of being second uh, runners-up. Um, do you think they've got the goods? They've got what it takes to win this final? See, football is a really funny game. Even if you look at, at the, the Pirates game against Maritzburg, um, they had chances, but they weren't scoring. And when I say it's a funny game, sometimes you just need that little bit of luck for things to turn your way. And even if you look at the opening goal in the game, I mean, the goalkeeper made a great save, pushed it onto the crossbar, and then it comes off the defender. Sometimes those are key things that if, you know, just that change of luck can change a season. And, you know, that could just turn things in Pirates' favor because after then, I mean, look at uh, McCalla came and scored a beautiful goal. So just those key moments, those little things can change a season. And, I mean, Pirates have struggled a bit in front of gold. You know, they've, they've been there, they've had the chances, they've played well, but they just haven't been able to, to get the final product. And like I said, just that little bit of luck can actually uh, change things for them. Well, let's talk about a little bit of luck. Because some people will say that you make your own luck. Because from the onset, it seemed as if Pirates were on the hunt for a goal. They were pressurizing the Marisburg defense, pressurizing the midfield. Um, one would say that it's possible that uh, Mario, Mario Boyson's own goal was really as a result of Pirates creating that luck. No, definitely. I mean, they say luck is the point where preparation and opportunity meet. And so I, I, I do believe Pirates uh, were prepared. They, they've shown that they're a class act. I mean, you don't get to four finals in a season without being a quality side, without having quality players. So they definitely have quality within their ranks. It's just, it's been really hard for them. They, they haven't had luck. They haven't had the ball rolling for them. And like I say, sometimes just that little change in luck will make all the difference. And who knows, come final day, that might just uh, give them the confidence going into the final. So now, what do you think about what happened when, uh, when Makole got the space to shoot from outside the box? What was going on in the Marisburg defense? How, uh, were, they, were they defending too far back? What was going on? I mean, the ball, uh, it was basically the ball was moved across from one side of the field. Um, and there were players making good runs around him. And that's, that's the key thing. The players making those runs uh, uh, forces the defenders to kind of, you know, shift their focus. It's do I go with the, the running player or do I press the ball? And, you know, ultimately, them moving with uh, the players that were making the runs gave him the opportunity and gave him the time to, to have a shot. Right. And then uh, with, regards to, uh, well, with regards to the rest of the match, uh, Mandaza's goal, that was, uh, that was a pretty neat turn in shot. Yeah, no, it was a great finish. I mean, you know, it's, not a, it's a skill in itself. Not a lot of players can do that. I think the, the best component of that in world football is probably Didier Drogba. They say he's the best player with his back to goal. But Mandaza, I mean, he Did showed the, the qualities of Drogba there. That Not was a phenomenal. really good goal. Who's, who do you think is going to win the final? Last question. Um, if I may, Wits, the last time they were in the Netbank Cup final was a World Cup year. So I don't know if that's what something they do. But um, I, I think Wits are going to go with it. No, thank you very much. So that was really uh, valued off you. And we really appreciate the time that you've given us. We do hope that you enjoy the final. Will do. Thank right, you, and, sir. And see you again very soon. Thanks.